Hello YouTube people, today I gonna show you this amazing Adidas Dive watch. A year ago I had the C model from Steel Dive, which had two problems. Hands were misaligned and crown action was horrible. And sadly quite a few of you told me in the comments that your watch has the same problems. But that was a year ago and I can no longer speak about uh, Steel Dive in terms of a quality because they might have improved the quality over the year. And I can only speak about this particular example of Adidas Dive watch because I don't know how they all are. This one however is perfect happily. Now I know that many of you have bought this model from Steel Dive or Adidas Dive because I see that from my affiliate sales, you absolutely love this model. So there's do four questions. When did you buy that watch? Because that's relevant. If you did buy that watch a year ago, that's not either that relevant anymore because they might have improved the quality over the time. Now, did you buy Adidas Dive or Steel Dive? How is the alignment on hands when you set hour hand on six and minute hand on 12? Are they in a perfect straight line? How is the alignment? And final fourth question, it, how is the crown action? That's all. So anybody who is looking to buy this watch, they can read the comments and see for themselves how they improved their quality. Now, I'm very happy with this watch. Quality is pretty good. So let's take a better look and I'll show you everything in great detail. Let's begin with the fun part, wrist shots. And this is original bracelet. It looks wonderful. Everything comes together very nicely but we will check quality later on. First of all, just take a look how it looks generally on a person and it looks really good in my opinion. Now on nylon strap, this watch looks really good on nylon strap as well, especially this one. I will put links in the description to all the straps you see and they are all pretty good. This one also feels very good on the wrist, rather soft, very good with this watch. And looks nice. It does look nice. Now this perlon strap. It, this strap initially it's rather rough, but after washing in it in a washing machine together with clothes for several times, it feels good. It feels good and it does look really good. I like this texture. It does look good on this watch as well. I like how this watch feels on those elastic tangible bands as well and especially especially this one with white stripe in the middle looks really good on this watch and I like how this uh, bare metal buckle looks like together with the case of this watch. Now let's just pretend I'm unboxing this watch for the first time don't mind this huge gap <laughs> okay let's take it out of the packaging I got free strap which is nice let's open the box very nice box by the way very secured oh okay what do we have inside adidas dive book adidas dive book how to use a watch unsigned warranty card i obviously have already resized this watch for myself i used adidas dive provide a tool to do that they also give you some extra spring bars very nice now let's take the watch out of the packaging. Why I'm doing this unboxing? Well, because Adidas Dive comes in a very nice packaging. So that's that's just, you know, very nice. Let's take this watch out of the box. And let's see how good it is. Let's inspect the quality. I will measure this watch and weigh this watch. And I'm going to put all the measurements in the description of this video. Now. Let's see how is the quality. The bracelet edges, I wouldn't call them super well refined, but I wouldn't say they are sharp either. They are pretty good. For the money, this bracelet is finished very well. The clasp is just pressed metal, no sharp edges, feels good. Uh, about the case later on. Now let's put this watch on the wrist. Doesn't pull any hair, feels actually pretty good. Just a pressed metal clasp, but it feels good, does the job. Can't really complain. And this watch is surprisingly comfortable considering the diameter of this watch and how heavy it is. Out of all heavy watches I have ever tried, this is the most comfortable one. It, it sits just so nicely on the wrist. It definitely doesn't feel big. It feels way smaller than it is. 
as for a heavy watch, this is super comfortable watch, really good. Now let's take a better look at the case and the watch itself. Finishing, uh, finishing, <laughs> I can't really complain about anything too much. Everything looks nice. I forgot to peel off the sticker as always. Let's do that in front of the camera. Fresh, completely fresh, untouched. Nice engraving, I like this one. Now where do I even start? Let's start with the bezel. Bezel action is wonderful, really, really good. It is very stiff. I wouldn't say you can use this bezel as some kind of fidget spinner. No, no, no. This is proper timing device. This is very good example of wonderful bezel action. Very good stiffness. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now the crown, very nicely done. Crown does not touch the case. Even though there is less than a millimeter gap between the crown and the case, it's, it's wonderful. Now crown feels no surprise, absolutely wonderful on all Seiko and H35A movements, no surprise there. And when I set the hand for example on 45, press the crown in, hand stays in place always, which is nice. Now let's check the alignment, perfectly straight on 6, very well aligned, nice, I can't complain. Now let's screw, let's screw the crown back in place. No problem whatsoever. The only problem is that uh, those crown guards are a little bit overprotective. But, you know, I can't really complain such as the design, such as the style. But in terms of a quality, it's just perfect. The only rough place on the case is just inside the lugs, but no surprise there. All stainless steel watches from Aliexpress that I have ever experienced have rush, uh, rough edges on the inside of the legs. I mean, who cares? It's just, you know, nobody cares about that. Perfect. I mean, I can't really tell any bad things about this watch. Do you remember that strap that Adidas Dive added as a gift? It looks a little bit ridiculous. And it is very, very uncomfortable. Those wrinkles just dig into my skin, dig into my wrist. But if you care how it looks like, those shots are just for you. Loom on this watch is something that I'm 100% sure there won't be a single person disappointed about. It is simply unbelievable. Very, very good loom. I mean, just look at this thing. It is incredible. I mean, I come inside from the outside and look at the mirror and like, oh my God, this thing is just glowing on my wrist. It's a lot of fun. The conclusions are very simple for this watch. Where I gonna rate this watch on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. It's definitely a keeper, a wonderful watch. I can easily see why so many people love this design, because it's just very exceptional, I would say. It's very distinctive and surprisingly, even though it's a tool watch with very aggressive bits on the watch, like for example, those indexes, it still looks nice. It's rather unusual for uh, such an aggressive tool watch to look nice. This pillow shaped case just softens everything up and looks very cohesive, even though it's a big watch with aggressive looking dial, but everything plays out together so nicely. This watch looks very pleasing to the eyes. It's a very manly watch, which also looks lovely. Though those two things usually don't come together very manly, yet very lovely, but somehow this design just pulls it off. It's a perfect example of that. Wonderful watch. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.